Hi, hi, hi! This is Teacher Susan from Exploding Chemistry. Today, I would like to share with you three examples on hydrogen bond formation. The first example that I'm using is water molecule. Second example will be ethanol and water molecule. And the third example is ammonia molecule. So stay tuned on my video and have fun. See you! First of all, student, you guys need to draw out the structural formula of water molecule. I hope you all still remember how to draw the structural formula. You have learned this uh, in the covalent compound before. Okay, for a formation of the structural formula, if you look at the single covalent bond, okay, let's say in the blue color molecule, the hydrogen and the oxygen is going to form a single covalent bond. This single covalent bond is formed due to the presence of sharing one pair of electron between hydrogen and oxygen. So when hydrogen share a pair of electron with oxygen, hydrogen achieve doublet. In the same time, oxygen achieve octet electron arrangement. Just a slight reminder for you guys. Now, we have two water molecules here, one black color, one blue color. How do I know whether these molecules can form hydrogen bond or not? There are two characteristics, two criteria that these molecules must achieve. So this is also one way the teacher helps you to um, predict, to remember whether these molecules able to achieve or able to form hydrogen bond or not. Condition number one, terms and condition number one, when you check on your molecule, make sure your molecule must have hydrogen atom. Now let's check. Hydrogen atom appear, yes, condition one is achieved. Condition number two, remember NOF, NOF, NOF. What is NOF? N or F. N or F. What is NOF? NOF means nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. These three type of atoms, they are the atoms of highly electronegative. So in our condition number two, hydrogen atom that want to form a hydrogen bond, these hydrogen atom, first of all, they must be bonded to any one of the NOF. This hydrogen atom must be bonded to atom which is having highly electronegative. So in this case here, we check, yes, we have NOF, one of the members of NOF. We have oxygen which is highly electronegative in molecule number one. We have oxygen which is atom of highly electronegative in atom, eh, sorry, in molecule number two. So meaning to say these two molecules has achieved, has fulfilled the two characteristics. So now they are ready to form a hydrogen bond. But how this hydrogen bond is formed? Okay, number one, from our first molecule, okay, from our first molecule, we identify atoms of the highly electronegative. This one here. From at molecule number two, we identify hydrogen atom that attach, that bonded to highly electronegative atom, which is here. So when these two atoms appear, this is where the formation of hydrogen bond is. So the red color dotted line that teacher draw here basically is our hydrogen bond. Alright, so can my water molecule form another hydrogen bond? Yes. If let's say, let's say we have another one more water molecule here. Okay, the third water molecule. Now look at the blue color water molecule. This hydrogen in the blue color water molecule is bonded to highly electronegative oxygen atom. So this one is ready. This hydrogen atom is ready. 
In my third molecule, I can observe, I see one oxygen atom which is highly electronegative. Immediately, they are going to form another hydrogen bond here. Okay, can you get it now students? This is how we are forming the hydrogen bond in water molecule. So, what did I say just now? Number one, in order to form hydrogen bond, molecule must contain hydrogen atoms. Number two, hydrogen atoms in the molecule must be bonded to highly electronegative atom. What are those highly electronegative atom? Example one, nitrogen. Example two, oxygen. Example three, fluorine. So we have NOF. So as long as we can see oxygen here and this oxygen is bonded to hydrogen atom. So this one is one of the characteristic in order to help us identify the location of hydrogen bond is. Alright, thank you. Now, ethanol is one of the members under the carboxylic acid of alcohol. Without wasting your time, let's draw out the structural formula of ethanol. Okay, this is the structural formula of ethanol. So now, I would like to know whether ethanol can form hydrogen bond with water or not. If they are forming hydrogen bond with water, whether this water is going to help the solubility of ethanol or not. So first of all, as I mentioned just now, we need to check whether the molecule given to us fulfill two characteristics or not. Number one, do they have hydrogen atom? Yes. Okay, both molecule has hydrogen atoms. Number two, do this uh, hydrogen atom bonded to a very electronegative atom? Example, nitrogen oxygen or fluorine oh yes look at ethanol okay hydrogen is bonded to the oxygen in the ethanol this oxygen is highly electronegative and in water molecule itself both hydrogen atom is bonded to oxygen which is another highly electronegative atom so they are fulfilling the characteristic to form hydrogen bond so now the question is, where is this hydrogen bond found? Okay, so now we look at ethanol. In ethanol, we observe the presence of oxygen. So this is the location of the very electronegative atom. And in our water, since molecule 1 contribute oxygen, so in molecule number 2, it must be hydrogen. So hydrogen, this hydrogen that I labeled red color here is attached, is bonded to highly electronegative oxygen. So therefore, this hydrogen is ready to form hydrogen bond with the oxygen atom from the ethanol. So this is the location of where the formation of hydrogen bond is. Since ethanol, if we look at the size of ethanol, ethanol is a simple molecule. Okay, Let's look at this part. This part of the ethanol where the hydroxyl group is, it is forming the hydrogen bond with the water molecule. Actually, we can form another hydrogen bond. Okay, We are going to form another hydrogen bond here. So let's say we have another water molecule coming approach to our ethanol, the oxygen atom from the ethanol is ready to form another hydrogen bond with the hydrogen atom from water molecule. Due to the presence of this hydrogen bond, hydrogen bond that forming in between the ethanol molecule as well as the water molecule, it is going to help the solubility of the ethanol in water. As I mentioned just now, when we look at this part, okay, it is a small part of the molecule. When we look at another part of ethanol, it is considered as a simple molecule as well. So, this water, when they come approach into the ethanol molecule and forming hydrogen bond with the 
ethanol molecule they are going to help pulling the ethanol into the water and thus causing the solubility of ethanol in the water if we give you a bigger molecule of more alcohol example hexanol hexanol only have one OH group but the rest of the compound is big so even though we are forming two hydrogen bond it is not going to help in the solubility of hexanol in water all right thank you i would like to give you another highly electro negative atom which is hydrogen eh, sorry nitrogen okay i would like to give you another one which is nitrogen so i'm going to give you two molecule of ammonia these two molecule ammonia okay i believe that at this moment student is able to draw the structural formula of ammonia after you have learned covalent compound formation in the lesson previously now to make things easy as we remember just now there are two characteristics that each molecule need to achieve before they can form hydrogen bond what are the first one number one each molecule must have hydrogen atom and both of them have uh, um, sorry characteristic number two this hydrogen atom in each molecule must be bonded to highly electronegative atoms we have north nitrogen or oxygen or fluorine so in this case here we observe nitrogen we can see nitrogen appear in both molecules so now where is the location of the hydrogen bond look at your molecule number one i see there is one hydrogen atom bonded to a highly electronegative nitrogen atom so this hydrogen atom is ready for a formation of hy hydrogen bond now in my second molecule okay second molecule i can see a nitrogen here this nitrogen is a highly electronegative atom and this nitrogen is bonded to hydrogen so meaning to say this nitrogen atom is ready for the formation of hydrogen bond so here we go tick, 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 tick. this is the location of where hydrogen bond is formed easy right yes it's pretty easy so maybe you will ask me teacher if i put in a third ammonia if i put in the third ammonia is there any possibility that this ammonia is going to form hydrogen bond yes the answer is yes as long as they fulfill the two characteristic now look at here okay um i can see this hydrogen atom can you see the one that i put a hashtag this hydrogen atom is bonded to a very highly electronegative nitrogen atom so this hydrogen atom is ready for the formation now let's look for the partner from the second molecule since one nitrogen hydrogen atom is ready so we need to look for either oxygen or nitrogen or fluorine from the second molecule in my second molecule i can see a nitrogen which i draw a hashtag here so this is the location here in between the hydrogen atom and the nitrogen atom whereby this is the location of the hydrogen bond now remove the hashtag and here we go we label this as hydrogen bond this is how we find out the location of where hydrogen bond is formed and this is the place whereby we draw in the hydrogen bond it's easy right student all right thank you for your time hi guys thank you for watching teacher hope that today's sharing is going to help you in understand the formation of hydrogen bond better remember in order to form hydrogen bond molecule must have hydrogen atom and this hydrogen atom must be bonded to highly electronegative atoms like nitrogen oxygen or even fluorine north 
So stay tuned in my YouTube channel, Rambo Susan. Like my video, share it out, get comment, and don't forget to subscribe. See you again.